There's footage and records of objects in the skies that we don't know exactly what they are. The number of sightings and recordings that have been picked up by what we call multiple sensors, that is visual, radar, ISR, satellite. The entire American public has been lied to for decades. Yeah, there's a sophisticated uh, disinformation campaign targeting the U.S. populace. The United States government has gathered a great deal of information about UAPs over many decades, but has refused to share it with the American people. We must guard against the acquisition of unwarranted influence, whether sought or unsought, by the military-industrial complex. There is very compelling evidence that we, uh, we may not be alone. As we convene here, UAP are in our airspace, but they are grossly underreported. These sightings are not rare or isolated, they are routine. People say, well, maybe it's Russia or China. We have high confidence that things like transmedium properties and hypersonic speed, Russia and China clearly didn't have those in 2004. I was informed in the course of my official duties of a multi-decade uh, UAP crash retrieval and reverse engineering program. It would seem to follow that the odds that we're in base reality is one in billions. Elon Musk says that we're living in a simulation. Uh, He's not the only person that theorizes this. Yes, uh, I wish I had a good argument against that hypothesis, and I do not. Non-human intelligence exists. Non-human intelligence has been interacting with humanity. This interaction is not new, and it's been ongoing. And they're unelected people in the government that are aware of that. Science would have you believe that consciousness is somehow manufactured in the brain. There's no talking. Um, it's all just images in the head, telepathic communication. Our capabilities uh, have never been uh, fully revealed and uh, we're, we're still learning. We've got a long way to evolve still. The strangest prediction of quantum mechanics is actually true. Proving that the universe isn't locally real. The space-time is not fundamental objective reality, and therefore, something else is. We're talking about consciousness being fundamental, and this physical reality of ours being a derivative of that consciousness system. And it computes this virtual reality, and we are pieces of consciousness that play avatars. They were trying to communicate trying to tell us something. I kept getting these thoughts and ideas in my mind of technology. I call on our military leaders and intelligence officials to release more information to the American people about UAPs. For the first time, an official intelligence representative at a high level from the US government is saying publicly, we are not alone. We're definitely not alone. We should have disclosure today. We should have disclosure tomorrow. The time has come. Once we let go, of our massively intuitive but massively false assumption about the nature of reality. It opens up new ways to think about life's greatest mystery. I bet that reality will end up turning out to be more fascinating and unexpected than we'd ever imagined.